What's up everybody, today we're doing the second installment of the My Career on Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. And today we've got another Pro Invitational for Booyah Bait Company. So one 20 minute round. Looks like nobody watched the video on the first installment of the series. If you have not seen that, I'd recommend go watching it. It is probably some of my best work, which is not very good. So, give it a try. We're going to go ahead and jump into the match. So today we are at Lake Boulder, New York again. And let's go start round one. So we're at the same lake as we are for the first installment. So we're going to go back to our same spot. That worked pretty good last time. We're going to try and catch some more fish out of there. All right, at the moment we're pulling right back up to the spot we were in last time. And let's try and pull some more nine pound fish out of this spot again. And looks like somebody's already got a five pound fish on the board. Again today we're going to use the Rattlebait Fire Tiger and see how that works. Now I do want to say I am new to the whole YouTube thing. So if anyone's got some suggestions that make me easier to watch, some suggestions for the way I record videos, the way I act, suggestions for games to play, let me know down in the comments because I want to do everything I can to be entertaining and get some viewers. And I do want to let everyone know that for the first 1,000 subs, one of those first 1,000 subs will be getting $50 in a random giveaway. There we go, there's a fish. Can't tell what we got on, but let's reel it in. We could probably turn our drag up just a little bit. Pull it in. Seems like a little guy. He's not doing too much to my line. Pull him in the boat. Let's get our net out, please. There we go, we got the fish in the boat. And we have a walleye. That's not what we want to see. We want to see bass. Seems like I pull a lot of walleye out of this spot. But hopefully we can get the bass in. There's another fish. Good strike. Let's reel it in. Doesn't seem too big, but if I do the trick. Oh, it jumped. I didn't see what it was. It's in the lilies now. Let's go ahead and bring it into the boat, please. Please and thank you. Is that another walleye? Nope, it is a bass. Let's go, that looks like a decent sized fish. And get me on the board, four pound, 11 ounce smallie. Well, it gets me on the board at least, not in the first. Still got about four pounds to go for that. There's a fish as I'm trying to get out of my Yeti. Big fish, too. I was trying to grab my Yeti and drink out of it when this thing hit. That's something big, I think. Yeah, that might do me some good. As long as it's at least six pounds, which I'm hoping that it is. Come on. Come here, fishy. There we go. We got him in the boat. How big is he? That's a mondo. My guess is nine pounds. Eight pounds, seven ounces. Good guess. Let's keep chugging. I don't see a reason to move from the spot yet. Other than we are tied for first. But for some reason, we're in second. Jesus, again, too late, I was trying to drink out of my Yeti again and that happened, that sucks, let's keep casting out in this area, that's where I'm getting fish, so, I spilled water all over myself for that fish and I still didn't get it, there we go, this hopefully is the fish that puts us in the first, which is weird because I never went on this New York map and that'll be two wins in a row. 
We've got two fish in the bag so far, so we got spot for three more. Two more after we pull this fish in, since that walleye does not count. All right, let's pull this guy in. Another freaking Mondo. Let's go. He's not that big. Okay. Four pounds, 12 ounces. Still puts us in first. So I'll take it. We got spot for two more fish. We're ahead by three pounds. So let's keep reeling them in. There we go. Another fish. I've dropped down to fourth, but I'm only losing by about a pound, a little less than a pound. So let's try and reel this fish in, see if this puts us back in first. Hopefully it's another bass, not another walleye. Or something else. I'm guessing it's not a pike, so I'm glad that's not a pike, because we get a lot of pikes in this area as well. And there we go, we got that fish in. Another decent sized bass should put us back in first. Another four pound smallie. Almost five pounds. Not bad, that puts us back in first by four pounds. Three minutes left. We got one more spot in the bag, I do believe. So one more fish should put it away. I'm not chalking it up just yet, though. There we go. One more fish that should put it away. A big one, too, at that. He is really doing a number on the line. He doesn't look that big in the water, though. That's okay. It'll put it away. Just get him in before these two minutes are up. Let's keep reeling him in. Come on. And the fish is in. There we go. There's our winning fish right there. I wish I could give it a little kiss. Five pounds. Eight ounces smallmouth bass. I think it's time for a victory lap. Minute 22 left to go. Let's take our victory lap around Lake Boulder. We are 10 pounds in the lead. I think that is a safe victory. Which is really nice because I think I finally found the spot on Lake Boulder. I don't do a lot of winning on this lake. So we're going to take our freaking victory lap because that's two dubs in a row. Second Invitational. Next up will be the real championships. So that'll be a lot of fun. We'll have two rounds in those instead of just the one. So good dub here today. rough start four pound smallmouth bass but that eight pound largemouth helped us out and that last five pounder at the end really did good for us so there's another dub in the bag earned a lot of money earned some followers next up will be the florida state championship two rounds 20 minutes on lake johnson in florida if you like what you see go ahead and give a like and the subscribe check out more content like this every other day or so try to post every day but that's kind of hard with college going on so make sure you leave a like and subscribe and check it out let me know down in the comments what else you want to see and we'll see you later